Hello everybody, this is Tegaya, and we have the Iron Banner back again for the week of April the 8th, 11th through the 18th, 2017. So, with no further ado, actually, a little bit of ado, um, here's my info, and you know how to follow me on YouTube, Twitter, and Twitch. Uh, so definitely do so if you can. Thanks. So, now with no further ado, let's check out what she's got. Uh, right now, we're going to be looking at the Warlock inventory. What are you uh, looking but for? Since most players may not be Warlocks, two-thirds of you are going to be the other classes. Let's start with the weapons. So this week we have the Unbent Tree, which is great news. That means primaries will be dropping. Uh, this unbrent tree uh, has got a decent roll with uh, hip fire and counterbalance, uh, lightweight and feather mag, perfect balance and braced frame. Uh, basically, you can't go wrong with, with this. This is an excellent roll. As is usual, Lady Aphrodite is bringing the heat. So let's go ahead and take a look at the special weapon of the week, which is the Proud Spire Shotgun. Uh, once again, we can expect special weapons of all sorts to drop, but mostly shotguns. Uh, this one has uh, life support and performance bonus. Uh, it's really hard to choose. I probably would go with performance bonus, given the special ammo inventory uh, right now. Uh, lightweight and appended magazine. Again, can't go wrong with either one of these. And uh, rifled barrels, probably a must. Uh, oiled frame is nice, but you don't want to reduce the frame range on a shotgun ever. Uh, this is a mid-tier uh, rate of fire and impact. It's really good for getting into a crowd, but you really, really got to score headshots and also get right into the faces of your enemy in order to get the one-shot kills. Um, all right, and now we're going to take a look at the Warlock armor. Uh, typically all the armor is similar. I'll review the other armor on, uh, uh, Destiny Item Manager for you. Uh, but for right now, let's go ahead and look at these. We have some Iron Saga gloves. And, uh, these have an intellect discipline roll of 98 out of a possible 99. These are 98%, 99% gloves. Uh, and these will have, uh, hand cannon loader and, uh, increased melee attack speed. Um, Looking a little deeper, uh, your other option will be melee energy from grenade hits, which I rarely would use. Uh, the other glove option are going to be uh, auto rifle loaders, which will synergize well with those nice unbent trees that we'll be picking up this week. Um, it has increased grenade throw distance, um, which is really my preferred grenade perk. Uh, and impact induction, which gives you more grenade energy on any melee hit. This is a discipline strength roll, and again, this is 98 out of a possible 99. Excellent rolls, as is typical for Lady Aphrodite. Uh, moving on, we have the Iron Saga Bond. Um, again, this is a Crucible Champion. This is a 100% roll. Um, Discipline, intellect discipline, auto rifle and sniper rifle focuses. Uh, those are really for upgrading your gear. Once your gear is upgraded, this is irrelevant. Uh, so I just keep a selection of these, swap them around uh, when I'm pouring moats into gear. Um, and so that uh, that is a 100% roll once again, 25-25, total of maximum of 60 out of 60. Uh, moving on, the Iron Saga Bond. This is a little bit worse of a roll. It's a uh, uh, 58 out of 60, which is 96%. Uh, still a strong roll, Discipline Strength. And this is Pulse Rifle. And let's see what the secondary item is. Sniper Rifles, Crucible Champion is all it. So that's it for the Warlock. Now let's take a look at the other classes. Um, so now we're looking again with Destiny Item Manager, and let's take a look at the Hunter Gauntlets. So uh, this is a Scout Rifle Loader with uh, Switchblade and 
uh, melee energy from grenade hits. Um, so probably uh, run Switchblade on this. It is an intellect discipline roll, 99, uh, 98 out of a possible 99, which is a 99%. Um, moving on for the hunter, we have uh, the Iron Saga Grips Pulse Rifle Loader with uh, grenade throw distance fastball and impact induction, uh, which in bonus grenade energy on melee hits. Um, again, you can see it's a discipline strength, 99%. Excellent rolls, as always, on Lady Aphrodite's goodies. Uh, we have a 100% Iron Saga Cloak intellect discipline. Uh, so that's 60 out of 60. Absolute must pick up uh, if you don't have a solid max, uh, max roll crucible class item. Uh, this has sniper and auto rifle uh, experience boosts. And moving on, we have another Iron Saga cloak, which is uh, pulse rifle and sniper rifle ammo. I'm sorry, booster. Um, and again, this is a uh, 99%, no, this is a 96% roll. Uh, so that's 58 out of a possible 60. All right, moving on for the Titan. Uh, these are 99%, so these are 90, uh, 98 out of a possible 99. Um, and this is a scout rifle loader with, uh, come on, let's get the tooltip. Melee attack speed and momentum transfer, which is melee energy from grenade hits. Uh, moving on. Uh, we have the 100% roll Discipline Strength uh, Iron Saga Gauntlets. These are Auto Rifle Loader with uh, Para Muscle Armature, which is Need Throw Distance, and Impact Induction, which is Grenade Energy on Melee Hits. Um, and uh, for the Titan, we have the 100% Intellect Discipline Iron Saga Mark, Auto Rifle, and Sniper. And we have a 96% discipline strength, so that's 58 out of 60. That's pulse rifle sniper. Uh, again, as always for Lady Aphrodite, excellent gear. Uh, if you're looking for a tier 12 build, getting your level up with Lady Aphrodite is essential. A lot of us will be doing it for the book uh, this run, uh, but so be it. Generally speaking, that is definitely something that you should be looking to do. The fallen searched for gods and uh, machines. Thank you once again for watching. As always, uh, looking forward to uh, seeing you around Destiny. Uh, thank you once again for watching. There's my info up on screen. Like, follow, subscribe. Your support is appreciated. Small channel, need your help. Uh, all you gotta do is click a button. Thanks again, and I'll see you, Starside Guardians. At least.